Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect where if I unpause the game we get a total of 20 prisoners. Yes I did double that because quite frankly I need the money. In the previous episode we got our first prisoners. We have a total of four prisoners. Sadly one of them is a snitch which meant we had to speed up our building of this which is our protective custody area and also now is doubling down as a um, death row area. So as you can see we got uh, death row here death row appeal and then the cells there so let's just crack on and get this built because well we've got a guy that's in mortal danger basically so we need to get this done sooner rather than later I have obviously went ahead and redesigned this thing so it's uh, a little bit different to what we had previously but I, uh, I do like the design a bit better so there we go this is going to be our protective custody cells top and bottom we'll have a common room designation in the center and then finally the canteen over there so we've got our intake and I'm just hoping that we don't have any um, anything happened that's a bit dodgy and I don't expect anything to happen to the snitch at this stage however with all of these prisoners turning up now then that could probably change let's just go over to our intelligence and informants and we can see that we have a legendary prisoner that has arrived among them we have a cop killer we have a storkel obviously all gang members tough etc if we go over to gangs we now have six red gang members six green gang members and 12 blue gang members okay so that is all fine and unsurprisingly the legendary prisoner is uh, Andrew Morgan prisoner number 1720543 uh, convictions is perjury violent disorder false imprisonment and torture let's have a quick look at that we're going to go over to gangs uh, is it that guy I think it might be I think it, oh no, I might be the person behind. No, no, it definitely is. So that person is a gang leader. So Green will now start to do all of the recruiting things. So they'll get a lieutenant and then start recruiting. And that's going to be all kinds of bad. Anyway, while we wait for them to do that, um, I wonder what traits they have then. They have uh, legendary. So yeah, they are a legend in the criminal underworld. Um, yes, yes, they are legendary brilliant legendary gang member <laughs> just what you need ah uh, great right um so their traits are extremely strong extremely tough extremely volatile stalker fearless instigator gang member so when they inevitably kick off which they will we can't really punish them because as soon as we do that their entire gang also is not too happy about it what i'm going to do is prioritize the building oh that's gonna be really annoying I need to prioritize the building of the automatic door openers here the door servos rather but in order to do that I need to open the doors and I can't do it because it cancels some of these doors so let me just try and do it I can use the tab feature and tab between the different ones there and open it I have prioritized it but they're not coming to do it come on come on uh, eventually I'll get these top and bottom cells done looks like they're coming through that door servo there and that's pretty much done. And then we'll have to run some power. At the moment, we're just going to stick with this standard power cable. We will have to change that over. It's just at the moment, money is a problem. Uh, obviously, all the, all the people we've got are a problem. Why is nobody on that door control system? Wow, okay. Brilliant. Just what we wanted. Right. <laughs> door control system that's pretty much m mandatory to be... Uh, staffed and it's not working nice anyway so these are going to be the model cells each one will contain all of the basic amenities so we're going to have a bed on the top and bottom there we'll have a toilet in the well right next door to the cell and then we'll have a drain as well as a shower head in there too so that's going to be the standard one there we will have to go ahead and make sure uh, of a couple of things firstly that is protective custody only which it now is this one will be staff only and just so staff don't get stuck i'm going to place a large jail door there we'll set that to security like so and then we'll set up the standard security room which obviously we can use for all manner of things there we are that's in these are actually are probably best on probably designating those as cells like so which means the doors will open automatically brilliant they haven't uh there we are come on open up get that sorted right it's because they're not classed as a legitimate cell yet so there we are small pipe will run across to about there same on this side which will go across to there and then a large pipe will just connect up like so and that'll be fine 
and that'll have all of that connected. Double checking the deployment here because it sometimes changes, it seems to be fine. For this room, we are going to go for the canteen, and this is where almost certainly things will glitch out. It's uh, known to do this, but we'll see if we can make it work okay. So we'll have a serving table, or two sets of serving tables there, and then probably place our benches like so. And there we are, and that's the canteen. And that will be all set to hopefully be correct. I was originally going to remove these door servos, but I've decided against it, A, because it's just a lot of work, and B, it means that then the laundry would have to be opened up by the staff members, and I just don't want that. I really don't want that. So let's just have a quick look at our gang members once again, and currently no recruiting, which is good. Um, that's mainly because... <laughs> We're still waiting for the uh, the staff to take these prisoners into there. I'm just going to go over to our intake and say um, number per day. We're going to take that down to... Actually, no, we're going to say number per day 10. And then that'll take us close to our maximum. I don't want to bring in too many prisoners at one stage. And, ah, there we go. That needs to be protective custody. And that is still going to be glitched out, isn't it? Oh, no, it's okay. That's okay. Oh, we've got some fighting. So we have a gang fight there. This is the first fight that we have seen there. It looks like they're attacking the snitch, which is what we expected, which is why we were trying to get this built, and it looks like they didn't manage to take him out. We will set them to protective custody, so they will be escorted in here, and then that room should change, and then they'll be in here. Right, that was very, very close, but at least they will be escorted to this area, and then we'll be able to put some patrols around it. Speaking of patrols, we do need to use the scheduler. Now, historically, that has been the bane of my prison architect existence, and I've just not managed to do pretty much anything with it. But I will try my best and see if we can get it sorted. Uh, looks like that camera doesn't sweep all the way to there. We might have to put another camera in, although, quite honestly... We might also not bother with it too much. In terms of staff as well, we do need to increase our staff. We do need to get a couple more cooks now that we have some uh, more prisoners here. And as you can see, it's taking a while for not only these people to be escorted to their cells, not everybody's, uh, it's nearly, well, it's over 12 hours since they've originally arrived and they're just still uh, sat around in the reception. You can see that people will be escorted from here to different places. We haven't got anyone around the protective custody area, and that's bad. We need to set up either CCTV or more likely a patrol of some kind. Okay, I don't really want to set a patrol up, but we'll see. Anyway, we're going to go over to staff and then to... Oh, we can't do it, actually. We're going to have to go to guard lockers, and we're going to put some more lockers in, like so. We can also think about maybe putting in a sniper tower, and maybe one in that corner for the time being will be acceptable. Obviously, we've got two people who are injured, and they will eventually be escorted over to here. Why is that person there? Why are they locked? Why, why are they there? It looks like they've been healed and then just dumped there, and they're waiting to be escorted to their cell. Brilliant. Um, right. So what I'm going to do now is change our change our deployment and patrols. So let's go over to guard patrols, and you can see we've got multiple patrols. Now, what I want to do is try and match it up as... Oh, uh, I need to unlock policy. I need to see what we can do when it comes to this regime here. So between 12 and 6, essentially, we can have pretty much what we've got going at the moment. Ish. Ish. Anyway, let's go to uh, all these patrols. We're going to cancel all of the patrols off for the time being. There we go. So no patrols in the facility whatsoever. So between the hours of... Uh, where is it? One and six, we want a dog patrol, and we want an arm patrol in here. That's how that's going to work. At seven o'clock, we want the same again, so we want these in here, so we can say, uh, no, schedule two, you can change it and say schedule two, oh, but you can't place it on the same place, sadly. So there you go, there's schedule two, so we're going to have dogs around there, as well as the, as well as the, um, shotgun toting monster in the <laughs> center and also we'll have from here a patrol that goes round the yard because this is yard time remember so we'll do that and I'm just double checking is it near the edge one two three one two three hang on where's the edge two three 
Right, so it's one further along. Really difficult to see. But that's going to be an armed patrol. Okay, there we go. So that's schedule two. Eight o'clock and nine o'clock on both times. So that is the eat time will be schedule three, which will be... Hang on. The schedule three. We don't want one there. But we do want one there. Hang on. There and there. So we have the same patrol going round here. We've always got someone there. And the rest can be one. We can tweak this later on. In fact, I envisage me tweaking that later on at some point anyway. But you can see that that is pretty much set up. So we're utilising as best we can the armed guards that we have. We also really want a guard in here to look after them. But I don't know what type of guard. I certainly don't want a standard guard going around. Probably an armed one. It'll probably be a 24-hour armed patrol in here. I think that would be not unreasonable. Not unreasonable. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's go for our staff and um, guard 1-2. Dog handlers is 4. That's fine anyway. So in terms of deployment, um, armed patrol, we will have to set up an actual patrol route. Which is not going to be in the kitchen, actually. It's just going to be around here. So that's for... Hang on. It's for 1, 2, and 3. There we go. So we always have a guard, arm guard there. The problem I envisage is that what will happen is when they change the different patrols uh, on the schedule, it won't be the same guard. So this arm guard might be, say, right, you are now uh, actually over there and over there. And it's just going to be a nightmare. Anyway, we'll do what we can. So we have an arm patrol around there. We have that person in there. We have... Not enough CCTV, but that's just going to be a common occurrence, so we'll just try and ignore it for now. In terms of rooms, we do want a common room. So we'll place a common room, and we're going to place it in here. And this will have a couple of things in. We're just going to have a pool table. Um, pool table can go in there. We can have, I guess, a couple of weights benches in. Actually, I'll put a couple of pool tables in. A couple of weights benches like that phone booths can go in but the phone booths are going in here just put a couple in for now I don't really care too much and prayer mats like that and then the rest's whatever we need probably a I don't know probably some chairs or something but anyway so we are escorting people from the solitary they have been attacked uh, well they have attacked people so they're in there double check we do have a potential ci alexander zander henderson okay gang member recruit informant there we go so you can see for danger level we've got a lot of deterrence oh well we've got a couple of deterrence actually and a lot of suppression which is something we Expected because we have armed guards wandering around. Right, so we are going to receive another 10 prisoners, which is fine. We have... What else do we have? We need an, we need some snipers. So we're going to get some snipers in. So we'll say one and two. You should always have at least two. because Oh, they don't have keys for this. Oh, brilliant. So they don't have keys for the armory. Great. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. Anyway, I would have thought they'd have keys. Carrying staff key and rifle. And they have jail keys. Right. So snipers have staff key, not jail keys. Excellent. Just what we wanted. Anyway, let's see if our regime changeovers work. So it's sleep time at the moment. It's going to hit into shower time. They're all going to come out. And if they need to use the shower, they will use that shower. There we go. They are using that shower. Currently, no fighting. We could change it so that the armed guard patrols around there. But I think we're okay for the time being. We might, like I say, change it over. And now once it hits shower time, let's see what happens. Yep, so everyone's been reassigned. So we should now be on, if we go over to the deployment scheduler, on schedule number two, like so. Which means that we have an armed patrol there and there. But, are they the same one? No. Schedule 2 only. 
So it looks like they're swapping over. Yeah, so they're swapping over. So there is a... When the shift changes, there is a... Not a delay, really, but... Oh, hang on. Uh... Please go back to your cell. <laughs> uh, uh, right, go, go back. Uh, <laughs> lock down six hours. Go, go back to your cell. Thank you. And once they're through that, I will then say, don't worry about it. And punishment, um, you're not allowed to go through there. So at least we've got um, a bag of garbage for them to eat. So they've got that going for them. There we go, there's the food. <laughs> Alright, so we've got more intake. Let's have a quick look at that. Let's go over to our gangs. We can see we've got 10 red, 10 green, and 14 blue. Currently not seeing any lieutenants, which is good. Turns of informants. Stalkle gang member, fearless, all, all the usual stuff. And not seeing any snitches. We do have a cop killer, but that's not... That's not something that prisoners will target them for. If anything, you would expect it to be the other way around. But anyway, um, we do have, sadly, minus 18 uh, generic units of currency per day. Not a big problem, but it's with that sniper, with that um, two snipers is uh, caused that, really. We're going to go over to intake and just uh, fill capacity now. So we're going to get another seven. And then there's that so sorted. So, so far, um, no massive calamities, which I'm very happy about. Uh, there was almost... In, uh, deadly incident there but we've managed to sort that out we've got the canteen there we've got that there obviously it's currently work slash free time but none of these are set to work the money that we have i think we are going to spend on a couple of things we're going to have where is it flooring let's put in these two rooms here it's going to be classroom and we don't have education locked brilliant and I would like to taser all out, but then I won't have enough money for that. Okay, so it's going to be a chapel, and we'll build a chapel first. I assume, perhaps wrongly, that these prisoners will use the chapel. Uh, is that the right way? I think that is the right orientation. That's a lot of pews, isn't it? <laughs> Do we need the chapel this big? It's like a monstrous chapel, isn't it? A cathedral! A minster. Um, that'll do us for the time being, to be honest. I should also probably connect it up with some cabling. But originally... Well, I did say that we were going to put, plus, put some more things in here. But we don't have the money. So I guess I'm just going to have to... I guess connected up like so. You know what I'll do? What I'll do is run this across here because that'll connect them up. And it means that when we place this and have to reroute it, we just cancel that bit there, just remove that bit. So that's all right, I think. Uh, right, where was I? Yes, capacitors. Need two more. And people are in the chapel. We don't even... We're not even running the program, and they're in the chapel. That's not really a problem. Spiritual guidance, 10 in the queue. Let's start it. Let's start it. So you can see that, in terms of the programs, very little interest in programs. Um, not only it's because they're gang members, they're also high risk, and also because we have a lot of suppression. So all of those combined means that reform is not something that we do. Spiritual guidance is on the queue there. It's in the queue, rather. It's on the cards, I was going to say. Uh, workshop safety induction, nope, and can't. Same for kitchen safety and hygiene. Carpentry apprenticeship, no. Behavioural therapy, one would it is in the queue there, so they would like to do that, but we haven't even planned to do it. We've got our... Where are they? Our psychologist is... Uh, oh, resting in the staff room, but they are in here, so we can't do that. Alcoholics group, we're not running that. Parole hearing, not doing that. Can't do that anyway. Okay, because we haven't built this building, which, to be fair, we could probably build. We could probably go ahead and build it. I mean, it's not going to take... We can't. We've got no money. Brilliant. So, yeah. Uh, mm, we, we, can't, we can't do that. But, at least, we are now up and running. We have prisoners. 
we have uh, this on the go. We are going to light it. There we go. There's some lights. We don't have any CCTV in there. We do need some more CCTV in there. We need some more CCTV in general. Um, so I will place some CCTV there preemptively in, say, uh, one, two, two, in there. This is going to be the, uh, well, what is that going to be? The thing is, none of these prisoners have money on them, right? Because normally the way it works is when you, well, when you do work, you get paid and then you can buy things at the shop. Well, these are all gang members. I don't think they work. And if they do work... No, I don't think they work. Hmm. Don't know. Either way, uh, the way they normally get money is by taking off other non-gang members. We don't have any other non-gang members, and nothing can be thrown in. So there's no point at all in a... There's no point at all, I think, in a shop. There's very little point in having a library, and there's very little point in having a big classroom. I'd be very tempted then to redesign these and have two rooms, mail room and classroom. It's probably actually that, uh, that one, realistically. Hmm. Could do something like that. The chapel is massive, but to be honest, they go and sit in there anyway, so that's not really, that's not really a big problem. Even if we're not running programs, at least they can go and sit there. So yeah, let's connect up that CCTV camera. Obviously, we're now running multiple cameras off one of these, so we're not getting full line of sight, but they are there. Looks like these are getting fed. All the prisoners are being fed. That's good. Let's have a quick check over here, make sure they are fed. They are currently not being fed. I think it's just a lack of staff. Or maybe they have been fed already. Either way, I am going to hire... I was going to say two more cooks. I guess one more I'll have to do. Um, no, they have privacy, freedom, and luxury need. So that's pretty much fine then. They have been fed. Good. Good, good, good. So, looking at grants. Max sec infrastructure implementation. Increase the size of your security force. Currently on 25%. Um, so we need staff morale 100. That's good. So we've got five regular guards. So we need to bring it to, what, 20 Hmm. Okay. We might just buy them and then sack them. Just to get that grant. We've got Reform the Education Initiative. We'll never get that done. That's just going to sit there. We've got Cell Block B, which we need to increase our prisoner capacity to 50. Well, that's just building another one of these. I'll probably build, to be honest with you, that one there, which means just a lot of cloning. And after that, I guess we've got all manner of things we can do. I know that there will be some... Grants, yeah, we got tool cleanup and the carp the carpentry apprenticeship program, and it's remove the supply of stolen weapons and tools, and crack down on. Oh, sorry, that's that is locked. I think we have to do crack down on drugs first. Very tempted to get rid of that, but that'll put us in negative. If we get rid of say, max sec, let's see, that puts it as a negative. Crack down on drugs. Oh, that's fine. Ten illegal, uh, illegal narcotics. Okay. We can't do that then. We can't do it. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and it doesn't mean... It doesn't mean we have to find it when that grant's running. It just means in general. So we'll find it eventually. And most of it's going to come across here. We'll actually have a quick check. Let's go over to... Our... Last 24 hours. Oh, It's kicking off over there. You can see we've got a club, a phone, and a pair of scissors. Last seven days, it's all just been smuggled in. It'll all be smuggled in. Yeah, of course. It'll be in it's been detected as well. So, we have a bit of a problem here. We have our legendary prisoner, who is currently kicking off. And because they are an instigator, the people to the left and right of them are also kicking off too. They are not even the same colour gang members. They're just like a fight. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to go for guard response. And we will bring guards here. And we'll see what happens. So you can see that we have arm guards coming. Multiple of. And quite frankly. Free fire. Are you gonna are you gonna knock it off? Yes, he's knocked it off. Are you gonna knock it off? No, he's not knocking it off. There we go. Now he's knocked it off. 
and oh, he's decided to uh, knock on the head too. Osborne. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No prisoners taken. I mean, actually, we've got 34 of them, but yeah, they just put their hands up and no, nope, they didn't. They didn't want any part of that. Right. So what I'm going to do is go to this person here, and they are going to be punished. And we'll have to stop that punishment because otherwise this danger level is going to go really... It's just going to fly up. Staff morale is high though, which is good. And obviously super guards are um, pretty good too. So yeah, not too bad. We are just on to shower time and then we'll obviously be feeding the prisoners. Overall, quite happy with what we've accomplished. But we still have a fair bit to go. We're going to be receiving seven prisoners shortly. That'll put us on a bit of money. The problem with that is that we don't have enough money to we don't have enough money really to get the next cell block done so we might have to get we might have to get this extra guards uh, increase which will give us the 20 grand obviously minus the money that it costs us to get those but then we'll get another grant off that and then we'll see whether or not we sack those guards I'm not too sure as I said we're trying to do the sort of one guard for every 10 prisoners so we currently we're still a little bit over actually but we've got four armed guards and we're working off the total capacity really so four armed four dogs snipers we said exemplar i mean if we go for four of each it doesn't really matter and then five regular so yeah if we're saying we haven't got enough snipers we're still we're still under um so yeah we're still sort of fulfilling that either way we will leave it there next episode we'll crack on and see what we can do as always hope you have enjoyed the video and this series thus far thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings